So uh, once we started, you know, collaborating with Google on several verticals, we started to focus on G Suite and uh, Google Apps in general. After the acquisition of the products, you know, and Google developed new products such as Google Calendar, Google Docs, and of course, Google Hangout and then Google Meet that we are using today to do this presentation. So uh, from uh, that relation, we focused on G Suite and how we migrate uh, customers from on-premise to the cloud, uh, utilizing all the, uh, let's say, uh, magic tools, I would call them from Google, such as, you know, email indexing, searching, and all the benefits that empowers Gmail. And um, almost every user on the planet uses Gmail if he's on the internet or came across one of your Google services. So the focus was uh, focused on G Suite and further down the road, we started to focus on G Suite for education. So our partnership with Google offers today G Suite for businesses, individuals, or you know enterprises, government sector, and all the way to the education, which is G Suite for education. Uh, for today, uh, I would like you know to make sure you know everybody ask their question. Reach out for you know G Suite uh, division, which we have at QuickNet. We have you know our colleagues Vergis George, the Technology Solutions Division Division Manager. And his colleagues, Sayed Omar Farooq, the G Suite engineer from the sales division. And we have Harair Bobian, senior account customer associate. And we have Joby John, who's a solution architect when it comes to G Suite. And of course, we have uh, Ms. Jisha and Ms. Amel, who's their senior account uh, customer associate from the G Suite department. So whenever we finish that this call, if you have any emails, please feel free to reach out to them. Uh, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Mr. Qais who's handling the uh, Google partnership for the region, and hopefully we'll dive more into the product. Guys, over to you. Thank you, thank you very much, Bashar. Uh, thank, you, thank you everyone uh, for, for being here and being interested in Google, being interested in G Suite. Um, thank you to QuietNet um, for, for hosting this webinar um, together with Google. So I will just now actually um, share my slides with you guys so i hope everyone can see my slides now so um again thank you for for being here thank you for for your interest my name is Spicen Mormani. i am the territory manager for the middle east region and north africa we have in google the organization called google cloud and in Google Cloud, we have two uh, main solutions. We have the GCP, which is the Google Cloud platform, when it's about uh, computing power, when, it's come, uh, when it comes about uh, machine learning, IoT, all these topics, servers, um, storage. And then we have as well G Suite. And G Suite is the collaboration tool. G Suite is the tool which um, enables us to communicate, to send emails, to create documents, to create um, spreadsheets, to share them, to, ha to, ha to have presentations or to uh, hold meetings just like the meeting right now. Um, so this is my main focus. I'm very excited to be uh, responsible about G Suite, especially because we are living now in this um, COVID time. We are living now in a time where we depend more on the right working tools, on the right collaboration tools. Uh, we want um, to be able to work from anywhere. Uh, we want to be able to work from home to keep uh, our our uh, family and our uh, beloved ones safe. So G Suite will enable our G Suite is enabling us uh, to do all of that. And we will hear more about G Suite uh, later from our technical specialists in QuiteNet. So, but before talking about um, about G Suite, let's have a look about Google. So Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. It's a very big statement. It's a, it's a huge task, actually. And uh, Google was founded in 1890. And it's very, um, yeah, it amazes me every time when I think about it that uh, um, like, like how two students from Stanford could um, think of such a huge mission and also make it possible to solve it. So back times, it meant basically to have a copy of the entire net it has to be um, uh, it has to be found que uh, answers to questions like what database uh, do I know uh, do I uh, need what kind of file system do I need it's uh, so it's 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 a huge task and today as everyone knows Google is the number one um, search engine and it did it doesn't it didn't stop here 
So we developed a lot of other great solutions and um, many of them we all know. So we can here see the logos. It's like Android, it's Gmail, it's Google Maps. Um, so all of these product solutions are part of Google. And um, we have even seven cloud products uh, which are in the One Billion Club. So the One Billion Club is actually a club of solutions where we have more than one billion users. So you have an Android alone, more than one billion. You have a YouTube alone, more than one billion users. And um, it's 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 like the the question which which arises then is that how can we in Google make it possible to deliver such solutions? How can we make it possible in, in, at the same time that so many millions of people are using uh, YouTube? and are streaming uh, videos which needs the highest amount of bandwidth and still without any delay and still without any downtime. So we, uh, like obviously, we will need to have the right infrastructure. We will need to have the right technology. It's not enough to just develop a, uh, a great solution. It also has to be based on the right infrastructure to make it so reliable and also to make it secure because millions of users are relying on us, relying on Google every day, uh, are trusting us with their data. Uh, so in the end, we will have to make sure to have the most secure and the most reliable infrastructure. And this is uh, why it makes me especially proud also to be, um, to be uh, working for Google. Um, actually, it's, um, it's estimated that more than 25% of the world's internet traffic is going through our network. So we own our own data centers, we own our own um, network, our own cables, and, um, and, 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 and yeah, and more than 25% of this traffic is going through us. And we, uh, we are so um, yeah, confident with our infrastructure that we even use a principle where we say, okay, we try to, whenever a request happens, we try to keep the data in our network as long as possible until it reaches as close as possible to the user and then we give it out to the public internet. Why? Because we know that our network is the network which can give the most um, speed, the most reliability and the most security. Um, yeah, here I just brought some pictures so we can see how we can how we put the cables. We connect the data centers with the glass uh, fiber. Uh, we put it in the in the Atlantic. We put it in the Pacific. We can see that on the right uh, top right picture. We can see that the cable has to be uh, shark proof as well. So we need to have a secure uh, network. So now the question comes, um, or many people might might ask themselves now. Okay, guys. Um, that's very interesting, but we already know Google is a big company. They have a great technology. They have great infrastructure. But the question then is, how can we benefit from it? And especially, how can we benefit from, from this network during these times? Um, the number one challenge now is really, how do we cope in the time of COVID? How can we make sure that we stay connected to our, to our colleagues, to our suppliers, um, to, our, um, to our clients? Actually, Google was one of the first companies who decided to close all the buildings and say, okay, every one of you is now um, uh, able or requested to work from home. So we are talking now about an organization with more than 100,000 employees, and we are using G Suite ourselves. So obviously, it needs to be tools where every department can work with. It, it should be something not just for IT, also for finance, also for for sales, for marketing, everyone needs to have the right tools and we need to be able to um, to have tools which are strong enough uh, or are also relying on a strong enough infrastructure that we don't um, expect any delay and we don't have to worry if everyone in the company would work from home uh, that he cannot get his work done. And the solution or the answer to this is G Suite. So it's basically three things. We want to make you fast. So. Um, it has to be intelligent, all this machine learning, artificial intelligence knowledge, which we have, which we had, had, have acquired uh, at Google over all these years, it's built in the tools. So it's very fast. We will see, um, we will see, we will see later why, but just to give you a glimpse of it, let's say um, you are working on a spreadsheet, you have some data, some tables, you're looking for an average number, you don't have to search for it, you don't have to look for it, you can just type in the, num the, the question and the answer comes. This is to make it fast and also connect it with make it smart. Because if it's smart, if they are smart tools, you will be also less frustrated. You will have the right tools, you will have 
uh, an easy way to 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 get your work done you will be faster you will be more motivated and this will in the end also save money and then the third thing is to make it together so obviously we want you to be connected we want you to be connected for email for chat for video chat so um, G Suite, and this is something which um, we need to understand, G Suite is not one product, it's not just Gmail. G Suite is a set of products and we cannot separate it. So it's one package which enables any company to be able to work, to work, to, to, to communicate, to work, to create documents, to, to, to get work done. So the one part of G Suite is the connect part. So we connect through email, we connect through calendar, and every tool is integrated with, with each other. So if we create a meeting, then you get an email automatically. You can like you can rely on the systems, and this is very important. Uh, one thing why it is important to have a full um, package with all the tools is because you want to um, to have a one console, like one admin console, where you can also um, see everything and you can also control everything and also you need the tools to be able to in, to to work together so you don't want any interruption between the different tools and you don't also want to deal with different vendors so we give you everything from one hand so the gmail is about the email the calendar obviously then we have a chat so we can chat with our colleagues or our suppliers we can use google meet this is google meet by by the way what we are using right now so we can have live streams we can have uh, uh meetings virtual meetings we can have one-to-one -one meetings over google meet we have context we can create context we have currents we can even have our own social media um platform for our employees the second part is the create part so uh we create we get work done so we need to be able to write documents we need to be able to have our spreadsheets for um uh, putting data in and tables and we need to be able to do presentations this would be slides we have even forms, so we know, know like we never need to go to any third party solution. So we can even do surveys, we can we can put uh, forms, we can put even sites if you want to create an intranet, if you want to create a certain site for a certain department or a certain team, you can do that. You have keep to make notes, you have groups to create groups, and you can even with app sheet create applications in a very, very simple way where you don't need uh, a deep dive uh, coding knowledge. And then what uh, what is the benefit of having the best tools if we can't control it so obviously we need to be able to control the data and to access the files so we have drive and drive you can uh, upload uh, your data you can save all your data it doesn't matter in which format and you can access your data from anywhere from any device you have cloud search you have the power of google search so you can uh, if you're looking for a certain document or uh, let's uh, certain information you can find the information be it uh, in an email be it in a document in a spreadsheet you can in google search find it so we give you even the intelligence and the the power of the google search you have google admin you have the control of uh, the users you can uh, you get even alerts if um, anything happens like let's say someone um, shares information outside the organization outside the company so you need to be able to be to to, to be alerted you need to be able to have uh, the security you need to be able to see what's going on in your organization to have a full control you have vault as well you can uh, you get a copy an automatic created copy of documents and of emails in case someone leaves the company so even data let's say 10 years ago and you need to access it because uh, of whatever whatever reason you it's a project which um, which 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 is uh, coming up again or there's uh, some uh, governance regulation which changed and you need to be able to provide this data so you can you can do that you have mobile device management so you will you want to give your people the ability to access and to work from any device so with mobile device management you have also to need to have the control over the mobile devices when they access uh, corporate information over their mobile devices and the security center is this uh, security which i talked about before the security of getting alerts of being able to even block certain certain activities uh, being uh, like um, being able to say okay department a cannot um, maybe share uh, financial information about clients with uh, organization uh, with uh, with the organization b so this uh, this is also possible with the security center so yeah, thank you again for attending this webinar and uh, I'm very, very happy to connect with all of you. 
uh, here you can find my contact details. You can always drop me an email, uh, momani at google.com. And also my LinkedIn page. I will not read it out now. That's too long. But you can um, also um, make a note about my, my LinkedIn and just uh, send me a request, send me uh, an email, uh, a message. I'm very happy to, to connect with you and to show you how you can benefit from the intelligence and from the billions of dollars which Google invested in their infrastructure to make your organization more successful. Thank you very much. And uh, I hand over to, I think, to Joby now. Thank you so much, Case. Uh, let us deep dive further into G Suits with Mr. Joby John, Solution Architect at Quapet. Over to you, Joby. Thank you, Noor. Good afternoon to all. Let me present my screen before you. We are going to hear more on G Suit. Once again, welcome to the webinar. I'm Joby John, Project Solution Architect at Kuwaitnet. Thank you all for your valuable time and presence. Today, our touch points will be on G Suite features and how Kuwaitnet could assist you to build a fully integrated workspace for your team members on G Suite. G Suite is the first cloud native productivity app which helps to make email safer and easier for everyone. Since 2006, over the past years, G Suite has grown to provide more tools, functionality, and value to help the business transform the way they work. Google has pioneered more ways for your teams to collaborate in real time with products like Google Calendar, Docs, Drive, and Hangouts. Together, these apps make up G Suite a set of intelligent, secure productivity, and collaboration tools. You can work from anywhere, and even you can manage your business from anywhere. G Suite is used by millions of businesses across a variety of industries. Our solution caters to the needs of any business sizes. There are three plans, G Suite Basic, G Suite Business, and G Suite Enterprise. G Suite Basic, it offers all basic features you need for a professional office suit, including business email through Gmail, shared calendars, video and voice conferencing, apps to create documents, spreadsheets and presentations, and the admin controls over security and management. With this plan, you get 30 gigabyte of cloud storages per user. With business plan, you get all the features of G Suite Basic and in addition, it is an enhanced office suite with unlimited storage and archiving with Google Vault. The Vault is just like your safe. It retains, hold, search and export data in support of your organization's retention and e-discovery needs. You can set policies on Vault retain data of all your emails and drive for a specific period of time or even for lifetime. In case if you accidentally delete your emails or any of your files from the drive, this could be retrieved from the vault. However, the vault is only accessible by admin. G Suite Enterprise. G Suite Enterprise includes all the features of basic and business. It is a premium office suit with advanced controls and capabilities. With this plan, you get enhanced security such as DLP, data loss prevention over your emails and drives. And for Gmail, it's hosted with SMIME encryption. Secondly, with advanced control features, you get premium administrative controls scan images for text, analyze Gmail logs in BigQuery, automate user provisioning. The next feature is Cloud Identity Premium, a unified identity access and endpoint management for all IAM and EMM platforms. For your information, IAM is 
identity and access management and EMM is enterprise mobility management. As an administrator, you can use cloud identity to manage your users, apps and devices from a central location. That is the Google admin console. Together with all these apps, Gmail, Doc, Sheet, Drive, Vault are collectively called G Suite. With these, you can connect, create, and control. From ages, communication is an essential part of every trading or business. In this digital era, email has become a vital medium for all business communication in our day-to-day -day life. With G Suite, you get a professional email address and you can always ensure that your email reach your end customer inbox. You can log in with your professional email address as you log into your personal Gmail. Over the time, most of us prefer work on, on our smart devices, leaving back our work desktops. Now, with Google Meet, you can have real-time meetings on the go. With G Suite, creating a virtual meeting is as simple as creating a Google Calendar request. You need to log in to the Google Calendar, schedule your meeting request, add recipient, and click send. Automatically, the virtual meeting request is also being sent in the same request. Furthermore, you need not to be worried if your teammates or your clients or your customers are on the same platform. They can just log in and join the meeting by clicking the shared link that they have received. Now, do you remember those days when we used flash drives, USBs of 2 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, running around with those portable storages? It created a lot of challenges as important data could be lost or what what if it falls into wrong hands we all had the access to the data but it was a challenge to share and recreate the data today all you can do is overcome all these challenges with google drive a drive is a storage where you can have the access to create, share with your team, the PPT, doc, sheet, images, PDFs. And then adding has been made very easy with Google Drive. Log into your drive with your credentials. On the left-hand side top, you see a new button. Click it, then a pop-up appears with various options, like either to upload the existing file or folder, or create a new document or sheet and more. Either you can upload a file or a folder into the drive, or you, you can easily drag and drop that directly into the drive. After uploading or creating a new file, as we saw right now, you can share the file with your team members or external persons even, and grant them access to edit, view, Along with this, you can set even an expiry for the same document. With Google Drive, it helps you to collaborate with the team and work across the various file types in real time. Now, as you see on my screen, this Google Docs, simultaneously multiple team members are working in real time and on the same document irrespective of the devices they're logged in. The team member can comment, tag, or assign actions to other team members. This enhances your collaboration at work to a next level. Now, as we saw in our previous slide, the entire team was working on the same document. Google also provides the track history or revision history where you can revert back the document to the previous version if needed. Now let's speak about device management. How your administrator 
can keep a track of details such as what was a device type or to whom the device was being assigned to. During this lockdown, most of us were working from home and maybe using our own personal devices. G Suit gives the organization the freedom for the employees to bring your own device without compromising on your data security. Through the G Suit admin panel, the admin gets the complete report and analysis of the devices that the users have logged in. And the admin have the access to revoke the usage of the device if it's less secure. And in case, if the employee reports a stolen or lost device, the admin can remotely wipe out all the G Suit data stored on that device. Now let's speak about how your data is secure with G Suit. G Suit is the most secure platform for professionals. With a leading security first mindset, Google has industry leading knowledge and expertise building a secure cloud infrastructure and application at scale. To stay ahead of the curve and offer a highly secure, reliable, and a compliant environment. Google is the only company they make their own chips and manufacture their own servers. They maintain their network and manage their applications without zero third party involvement. Google never compromises on the data security. Google uses a unique way to transfer data from one user to another. When an email leaves your email, when an email leaves your device, it is broken into seven different packages. And these are called as chunks. And all the packages travel through different routers to reach the end destination. The only place where you get all the data is when user logs in with its credentials. Quidnet always recommends two things with our customers. First, to have a strong password. And second, always enable two-factor authentication. What is two-factor authentication? It's a second layer of security to protect your G Suite account. This is an extra layer of protection used to ensure the security of G Suite beyond your username and password. You can get this password via text message or phone calls, or even Google authentication app, Google prompt, and even via external hardware keys. Compliances. Keeping users' information safe, secure, and private is among the highest priorities at Google. Over the years, Google has worked closely with data protection authorities around the world and has implemented strong privacy protections that reflect in their guidance. To ensure your data is secured, Google is equipped with the toughest standards. Google contractually commits and maintains adherence to ISO 20001 and ISO 2018 and SOC 2 and 3 audits during the term of agreement. So Google undergoes several independent third party audits on a regular basis. One among them is PCI DSS compliance that prevents email containing payment card information that is being from, sent from your G Suite account. G Suite supports customer compliances with HIPAA, which governs the safeguarding, use and disclosure of protected health information. As we are coming to conclude this webinar, G Suite is the best and secured cloud platform for your users and for your administrators. For your users, it gives priority for mobile first, 
work as a team on all file types. And for administrators, it is easily managed for the best security. G Suite Admin Console supports multilingual, in which Arabic is also included. Ask Kuwaitnet, your local partner. We are always available to assist you to get onboarded on G Suite. Our experts will help you in getting your data migrated, assist in change management, and restlessly support you in your journey with G Suite. Thank you all for your listening. And now we have questions. You can have, you can write your questions in our chat room. We shall answer them accordingly. Thank you, Joby. Thank you, Joby. That was, that was wonderful. So, um, team, we have a few questions. Uh, let me read out the first. Uh, does Google make their own CPUs? No Intel or others involved? Yeah, I can pick up this question. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, no, like we are not doing our own CPUs. Of course, we are, taught, we are working with different vendors and this is regarding hardware and um, also in this case, uh, CPU. So we have different, uh, we have in our data centers, our servers and we have our CPUs. And yes, we work also with Intel, uh, but also with other providers. I hope this answers Great, the question. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Um, another one. Are there any service providers related to G Suits for education? Yeah, I can pick up this question as well. So yes, we have um, we have a separate education team with a separate G Suite for education. Um, so if you are interested in G Suite education, you can come to me um, from my contact details of uh, to to QuiteNet, and then we can see if you meet the needed qualification. Lovely. Okay, so. There is another related question to your answer. Uh, what does chips mean uh, then on the previous slide? Um, can we show the slide? I'm not sure which slide. Um, uh, sure. Was it the slide uh, from, Joby, from Joby or? Yes, yes, it was a slide from Joby, I believe. Uh, anybody in the team uh, can pick it up. Or how about we answer the gentleman um, in a detailed email later? Yeah, so I don't know, uh, like in my slides, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't have um, anything related to ships. So um, I'm not sure um, um, uh, on, on the sides of Joby, but 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 um, as I said, so obviously, um, obviously we are working with with different with different uh, vendors as well. And we we don't uh, we don't manufacture our own ships. Perfect. Uh, I think we can share details about this later to uh, the gentleman. Uh, any yeah. other questions? So if, if, but I, can add, I, can add, I can add one thing to that. So even like just to understand uh, how it works, like even even if you take, let's say you take a you take a you take a comp let, let's say you take Dell, take Dell as a company, and they manufacture their own PCs. Obviously, in Dell they have different components from different providers. They might have something from. From, uh, from from Intel as a ship, they have maybe something else from, even maybe from a competitor, right? But in the end, they brand it as Dell. The, 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 the end solution in the end is Dell. It's a Dell computer. And this is the same. Like when we talk about our own network, yes, we have our own network. Google has its own network, its own data center. We own this. But uh, of course, to uh, provide the highest quality and the best service, we will always um, take as well from different vendors to build the best solution, the best network. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, there's another question. Um, is G Suite on premise available, team? No, G Suite is, G Suite is not on premise. So G Suite is a, is a only cloud solution. So we will, and the idea is we we want to we want to we want basically to get rid of on-premise. 
On-premise on premise means we need to install a software on the device. It means that when your device gets stolen or broken or whatever, then you lose your data. Okay. So we want a solution which is which is which is fast and which you can access from anywhere. And this is this this would be the cloud solution. But what we can talk about is um, Diva. Thank you for the question. Uh, more in detail, uh, maybe why you think it would be better to be on-premise, and then we can discuss the points. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, there's another question. Uh, is G Suits better than Office 365? <laughs> I can take this question <laughs> as well. Uh, so I was <laughs> I was working for Microsoft before. So I was managing the Middle East region for Microsoft before. I know both products very well. Um, it's like it's a great company. I mean, I, I I still part of my heart is still at Microsoft. It's a great company with a great solution. Um, However, I think you need to. Um, I think you need to see it. So I think it would be great to to connect afterwards and to give a demo because you will not be able to really um, to really understand or to really see the difference unless you you really get it as a demo. Or you really use it yourself. In the end, it's a preference. Like someone talking about, like I'm 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 coming I'm coming from Germany, so I'm a big fan of auto. Of 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 uh, of cars, so it's a question of what is better, Mercedes Benz or BMW. So it's a matter of preference. You need to sit in the car and you need to see what you like more. In my opinion, it's G Suite. That's why I changed from Microsoft to Google. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That must be a hard question for you guys, but thank you. Um, uh, there is another question. Uh, is there any future direction for Google to make G Suite as software and not only web based? um no 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 plans to make it like that because like look it's it's it would be in my humble opinion it would be even a step backwards because this is where we have how everything started like let's say microsoft microsoft as well they started first uh, with with office as a software solution and then they then they they they, they uh, understood that we need to make it cloud based because of 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 different like there are different reasons it's not just you that you want to be able to access your data from any device and that you want to be safe in case that your device gets broken or anything like that or stolen it's also a matter of security so you in the end um like you in the end not not an, not not an IT company or even if you're an IT company i'm pretty sure you didn't invest uh, several hundreds of billion dollar uh, to make your network uh, secure and reliable. So basically, the idea behind it is um, we are the experts in this and we want to facilitate your business. So you can focus on your business and we can deal with the IT. In the end, we give you even, like let's say for the support, we give you on Google, we say we don't charge you for support. You get 24 hours support. The reason is because we are so sure that there will not come anything up. You can use it. It's 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 so safe you can like you will never have any downtime or anything and the biggest proof um, as i said that we are able to provide this is look at youtube more than 1 billion users in youtube it's a streaming platform and still and especially now in covid like everyone is at home and streaming music and videos on youtube and still we don't have any downtime nothing we didn't even reach 20 20% 20 of our capacities that's how strong it is so that's why there's no direction, like there's no plans now to go back to um, software based. Thank you again, guys. Uh, another question um, Is G Suits compatible to pages like Apple products, iWork? Um, yeah, so what you can do is you can uh, you can when you when you create your document you can export it to any file you can it's even compatible with Word as well so we um, we have um, our agreements with all the different other providers so you can you don't have to worry about it you can just um, uh, write on pages and then you can just upload it uh, on on your Google Drive and you can even if you want to have it on pages you can anytime download it in in the format of pages. Lovely. Um, someone has asked, can I purchase an individual G Suite app? For example, if I just need Google Sheets? Unfortunately, that's not, that's not possible. So it's a one, one solution. It has everything included. 
And then, then the question is why, then the question appears, why do you want to have only the Google Sheets? So maybe because you purchased um, already the other solutions, but then it will not work. Like it, it, it will be, you will have to handle two vendors and uh, also from kind of admin and, and admin concern and security, it, it would be better to be from one. Like we would discuss what we would do in this cases, we would discuss um, how can you save costs that you that that obviously you will not need anymore the other solution you can use G Suite as a complete solution and then we can find our way um, like should if it's maybe a, a cost question that you that uh, company says oh I just need Google Sheets because I'm trying to save costs and maybe that would be cheaper then even in this in this matter we can help and we can always um, see how we can um, deliver an attractive. Uh, attractive price to 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 make it also um, more comfortable to use it and in the end it's a, your your decision if you like you will get everything but it's your decision if you want just to use maybe only google sheet in this case yeah guys just to add over here uh, maybe on uh, the product offering uh, g suite started with the less let's say products and for the same uh, cost that you know the customer pay he's getting all these additional products for free so if you remember, you know, draw.io, Google Diagrams, uh, it was added for free with the same fee. All additional services that you get, it's with the same cost. So segregating separate services, I don't think it's uh, reasonable. Also, uh, when it comes to segregating, let's say, services, Google has introduced Google Meet as Google Essentials as a product because of some people mm -hmm. utilizes mm -hmm. other services for their email and online Office Suite, but they want the beauty of Google Meet. So I think that's the only product that's available as separate from the Google G Suite. Correct, guys? Yes, very correct. Thank you for uh, for adding the special. Yes. Yeah. We have but, another uh, question. Does uh, Mr. Rashar something to add? No, no, that's all. Please proceed with the questions. Perfect. Uh, does G Suite have any service related to disaster recovery team? Um, so disaster recovery comes more when you talk about the platform. Like let's say you you need a certain VM and then you need disaster recovery, but you don't deal with this because G Suite is a, is a software uh, as a service. So we have it automatically. This is disaster recovery is in the end. Why? Because you don't want to uh, come um to the uh, to the point where you where you have a down you, you experience any downtime so uh disaster recovery is automatically provided but you don't have to deal with it as an ad it administrator because you get the the uh, um already like uh the the the, the solution the, the the end solution in the end the end software in the end so so yes yes and no there's disaster recovery automatically so you don't experience any downtime but no, you will not have to um, um, request it or you don't have to manage it. Thank you, guys. Uh, another question, I believe uh, Joby can answer this. Uh, can we grant permissions to specific users for subfolders under Google Shared Drives? Uh, exactly, you can grant permission. That's why we have, as I showed you in the one of the folders, like where you can even create um, um, permissions, like with the set priority uh, when it can be expired. So you can definitely grant the permission for it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, team. This was very informative and wonderful. I believe we've come to the end of our webinar. Um, Mr. Bashar, Kais, would you like to add on anything to it? Uh, thank you, Noor. Uh, uh, actually, I would like to thank everybody for joining our first initial webinar uh, for Kuwaitnet to host, of course, our and uh, promote our uh, Google partnership with the, with the amazing G Suite product. And uh, uh, I think it was a very successful session with you know, m multiple questions. Uh, there is more questions. Please do feel free to contact and reach out for our team uh, and the contact emails, which was shared earlier. And I will leave it to Qais if he has any you know, final remarks uh, regarding the session. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Bashar. And, and thank you, everyone. I just um, want to thank everyone who attended the webinar today. And I uh, want to let you know that it makes me really happy to see also so many people being interested. You are definitely ahead of the game 
uh, your people who are um, open-minded and who are looking for uh, improving things in your company. So, um, so it's 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 amazing to see uh, to see you here, to see you attending here. Uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to um, to see uh, what is going on in, in in our exciting IT world. So that's why I just want to encourage everyone again. Please um, get get in touch um, get in touch with us. I'm uh, also happy to 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 show here again my my contact details if you want to take a picture. Um, also, QuiteNet. It doesn't matter if you if you go through me or through through our partner, uh, QuiteNet, who is an amazing partner, in Quite and um, uh, and 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 certified and very and, and and one of our trusted ones. So uh, feel free feel free to to reach out to see. Um, doesn't cost anything. It doesn't hurt to to just have again a conversation one to one to see uh, how we can improve things. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And um, we get in touch uh, soon, hopefully. Thank you, Qais. Uh, I would like just to add one more remark. Uh, Dr. Hisham Sharhan has uh, asked a question if he would like to share uh, a comment by the mic, uh, the voice. So uh, since maybe it's related to the educational section, uh, I would like to hear from uh, Dr. Hisham if he's available to add his comment uh, or his feedback regarding that. Please, Dr. Hisham, uh, feel free to proceed. Yes, uh, I, thank you, uh, Mr. Bashar. I just want to make sure, can everyone hear me? Just I want to check uh, the mic. Yes, yes we can yes, hear you very much. Yes, yes thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I do, uh, uh, first, let me thank you all for this uh, you know, webinar presentation. It was very informative. And uh, I'm a faculty member at Kuwait University to point out that I've been using, we've been using uh, G Suite for Education for three years now in our department. And the reason I was asking about um, whether they have, are any other services maybe focused for the education, because of the situation that we are living in now because of the COVID-19. And uh, we know that Google's have uh, added a lot of uh, services, uh, regard, especially with the Meet, uh, to support uh, the educational uh, uh, institutions or establishment in, uh, all over the world. So, but uh, in, in, in Kuwait, uh, uh, or maybe in the region, that's why I want to uh, to, to hear whether there's any speci special services or maybe uh, tools or something that we can have or ha uh, uh, use more for with the, with the uh, educational institutions. As I said, it's been three years now since I've been using uh, G Suite for education. And it would be, yeah, and wonderful if we see this expansion. I've, as a user, I tried it, and I think it's uh, a very powerful tool. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Dr. Hisham, for the uh, comment and feedback. If you can share with us what kind of, uh, let's say, uh, services that you're using with, with the G Suite. Are you using Google Classroom, for example, or just the Google Docs and uh, Gmail and other services? We, we are using the full services. We, when we started uh, uh, implementing the, the system, uh, and as you mentioned earlier, uh, Google has been developing over the years. I mean, uh, a lot of additional features and uh, uh, services have been added even during this uh, past three years. But we do we do use uh, Google Classrooms. We use Google Drives as an uh, as a main archive for our department. So all the documents and information that we have uh, in our department have been transferred uh, from paperwork to digital, and they are in. Um, yeah, the online shared uh, folders where everyone can have access uh, to these documents. And we, we use, uh, of course, Google Documents, uh, Sheets, Slides. Uh, uh, we've used Google Meet uh, when this, uh, um, when the health crisis uh, started, the COVID uh, uh, crisis started. We shifted to using Google Meet, but we had to stop because, you know, as a government, as a, as a, a governmental university, the, the the decision was to to halt all educational uh, uh, classes, and we, we will be continuing next uh, 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 a month. But we did even we took us about maybe like uh, it didn't take us any time to transfer uh, into digital uh, classes using Google Meet. Uh, so yeah, so basically we've been using all the service. We do we we have uh, our own channel on YouTube. We have our. Uh, yeah, all other uh, Google Keep as well. That was one of the, uh, I think, the most underestimated uh, or maybe undermined service or applications 
that people they don't know about is Google Keep. So I would encourage people to at least if they if you if you're not gonna look at any other application, just look at Google Keep. I think it's one of the most powerful applications that Google provides. Indeed, Thank indeed. You. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Isham. I think it's uh, it's a great example how how Google and how G Suite is helping really in every industry and in every sector. Um, we have really like we have we have organizations and clients you, you see here like a very famous uh, university in Kuwait. We are also in the bank sector, in the financial sector, in uh, in governance, in like so many different industries, and and this is something which is also making the solution so remarkable that it's really um, ready. For, for any kind of industry. Um, so thank you very much, Dr. Hisham, for, for your comment. Very valuable. Thank you, Qais. Uh, great. Uh, uh, just to add on that, uh, inshallah, Dr. Hisham will be reaching out to you for with full details of other additional services just for the sake of time. My colleagues uh, from the G Suite uh, you know, team. Thank you very much. Yeah, I look forward. Even I'm also interested, I'm interested in nonprofit uh, in Google Suite for nonprofit as well. But maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be contacting you maybe directly to get more information about the G Suite for nonprofits uh, organizations as well. Sure. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. I think uh, by that I'll hand it over to Noor to finalize and wrap up the session for today. Thank you, Mr. Bashar. Thank you, Dr. Hisham. Um, again, as a reminder, I would like to let all of you know that you can email any inquiry questions on sales at quaitment.com or contact us on 180-7060. We have the details on our chat. Please feel free to shoot us with any questions, any emails that you want, and we have our subject experts who are going to get in touch with you. Um, I'd like to wrap it up now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Google team. Thank you, Quaitment's team, and hope to see all of you again on another day with a new webinar. Um, stay safe. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you, Noor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Quidnet. Thank you very much. Thank you all.